in the championship division heat, Chet's Music, piloted by Ron Armstrong, took the lead and was unchallenged throughout the run. Now, we mentioned earlier that Armstrong was the fastest qualifier in this division. In fact, he was nearly 10 miles per hour quicker than the other boats in this field. And once again, his dominance, that turbocharged Allison power plant, very much in evidence. He ran away with his opening heat. He came back and did the same thing in this one, quickly opening up a solid advantage. No one was able to seriously challenge him. With Ron Armstrong's superior speed, he went on to victory in this heat, but a wonderful little fight developed between the conventional design of the Executone, driven by George Johnson, and Molinari's little Italian boat. But the Executone moved decidedly into second place, forcing Molinari backwards. He then began this battle with Jimbo McConnell's boat, a repeat of what we had seen earlier in the day. Only this time, McConnell had learned a few lessons. You know, Paul, we may be seeing the wave of the future here. There are two outboards, and of course, Molinari's tunnel hull design, and they're really going at it. McConnell's crew made some changes in the boat, and he was able to stay closer to the inside line and gain the advantage on Molinari. So he moved into third place, pushing Molinari back to fourth. Molinari's crew was concerned about a lack of straightaway speed. They feared they might be down as much as 30 miles per hour. This seemed to bear it out. So with his victory, Ron Armstrong moved into the final run for the World Championship. For Jimbo McConnell and Renato Molinari, there was still one last chance. 